What's up, YouTube? I might give y'all a little story, man. It's not a very good one, but yo, man, it's about vampires and alcohol. Man, all right, this is how the whole thing begins. I went to freaking um, Tennessee, right? We went on a damn family vacation, okay? Now, I thought I caught poison ivy, okay, man? I thought, like, you know, we're in the Smoky Mountains, you know, so maybe I caught poison ivy. And all my stories are gonna come around to conclusion in a second, but yeah. So, I'm at going to a whole bunch of stores, Walgreens, CVS. I'm going everywhere, man, to get this poison ivy cleared up. Nothing seems to be working. And one night I was sleeping, my little puppy, he just starts whimpering, like, and he leaves me. And he won't come back on the bed. So, you know, I'm like, whatever. And I go back to sleep, right? Oh, shit. I go back to sleep, and, um,. I don't think nothing of it, but each morning, it seemed like my poison ivy was getting worse and worse and worse. And I met this really, really fucking beautiful woman over there in um, Pitcher Forge, Tennessee. I mean, she was drop dead gorgeous. I mean, this woman was so freaking beautiful. And yeah, I, I, I didn't even want to talk to her because I was so embarrassed because of the poison ivy spots on me, right? And so, I said, fuck, I'm going to talk to her anyways. I don't give a shit. So, you know, I went up there and I talked to her the way I do and everything. And she keeps backing away and everything. Well, turns out she had a husband for one part, but that's cool, you know. I can respect that. The second thing is, man, I heard her talking say, look, I got some kind of disease. I'm like, oh, God. And so, yeah, I go to um some more stores, pay 40, 60, 80, 90 bucks for freaking poison ivy medicine. Nothing seems to be helping me, man. Nothing. And yeah, I get some. Woke up one morning, right? And turns out there's some little bugs in my bed. Man, these are some damn bed bugs. I was getting eat up by bed bugs every freaking day for seven days. And y'all, I don't know, man. If y'all ever been to a motel and y'all had some unexplained critters biting you, that's freaking disgusting, man. I might, I might throw up a few little pictures of these things. I took video and pictures and everything. The only thing this motel did was give me the room for free for a week. Yeah, but I was in pain for a freaking week. I mean, how did they expect that? And then I went to another room to take a shower because I felt so damn dirty after being violated by these little creatures. Man, um, there's freaking fleas in the other room. I'm like, what the fuck? So I got fleas, bed bugs, everything, man. I'm just being destroyed by all these types of freaking animals. And I don't know what to do. And oh my god, so it turns out we left, okay? We left. I started driving out at fucking, I think it was like 2.30 in the morning. All the way back to Texas from Tennessee. And that's a long drive, okay? And man, I just, oh my god. That was so freaking, oh, that was disgusting. And... On the way back home, we stopped to a gas station in Alabama, and some old guy goes, well there son, I see you was smitten by some bed bugs, so yeah, people in Alabama, y'all must have a bed bug problem, because this dude knew right what it was, and or these ten people in Tennessee, because we're in Pigeon Forge, it's like a damn tourist town, and they must not want to tell me what it was, because I thought it was this freaking poison ivy from being in the Smoky Mountains and shit, exploring. Oh, another thing about them Smoky Mountains? Me and my sister was walking through them, and yeah, I got scared as shit. We thought we heard a bear or something, so I started talking out loud like you're supposed to do. And I never seen it, but we seen the damn paw print, and yeah, that was another scary thing. So don't go walking in the woods and the mountains alone, because if you do, you might run into something you don't want to run into, and yeah, that ain't, that ain't gonna be cool. So that's some crazy shit that happened to me. But as we're driving back, another strange thing happened in Tennessee, man. All right, there was, I mean, it was it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, okay? It was kind of horrible to die. I'm even talking about this. There's this guy. Well, there was two of them, all right? And they were butt-ass naked. Oh, shit. They were butt-ass naked, but... <laughs> I don't know how this happened, all right? Because, see, they, the car was on fire on the freeway. I mean, it was basically toast. I don't know how that happened, what happened, but... Or I'm driving by in the vehicle... And I turned my head, I was like, what the fuck? I seem like an ass cheek. I'm like, nah. So I do a double take. Yeah, there's two ass cheeks out there. There's two dudes straight butt ass naked running away from their fiery car. And then some police officers are giving them damn, um, what do you call it? Blankets and shit. And 
that's some funny shit out there. I've never seen two grown ass guys, but I, how the fuck did they lose their clothes? Did the clothes catch on fire and they took them off? I mean, I do not know even what happened right there, man. I mean, they didn't look injured, they didn't look bloody, they didn't look nothing. They were just fucking naked. And, I mean, if you're from Tennessee, it was on some freeway. Can y'all please explain to me if that's normal occurrence up there? Because that was freaking weird. Alright, man, I've been rambling on too much, so I don't want to make this too boring. So, yeah, man, that's my story. Peace out.